Um, working holiday is very loosely based off real events. Um, the characters are not modelled on anyone in particular as such, but I was actually travelling with a friend of mine through Australia. We moved to Melbourne. Uh, we had a booking of five nights for a hostel and we ended up leaving seven months later. Um, so that idea of people checking into a hostel and then not leaving for a very long amount of time is, is very real. It's something that I experienced personally. Uh, and it is because of the people. Okay, uh, my name is Fagan. Um, and I play the character of Nell, who is the receptionist at the hostel. Mm -hmm. um, loved by many and loves the drink a little too much as well. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Demi and I play Louise. Uh, she's very dumb. Yeah, sums it up. Yeah. Well, my character is Leslie. He is perpetually stoned. So he's just always on the weed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what else can I say? I guess he's, he's comic relief. Mm. At least I was told he was. Mm. Um, yeah, just, just a laugh here and there. Just something a bit, a, a bit different. Um, I play Darren, who's... What's the question? How does he fit into the show? And like, yeah, um... Um, I guess he's there. He he's lives in the hostel, <laughs> so that's why he fits in. He was in the script. Yeah, he was in the script. He just sort of, you contribute to every, most of the situations. Yeah, he's sort of a, yeah. I think he fancies himself a bit of a catalyst. Yeah. But really he's just, an, he can just be a nuisance. But yeah. he's, you know, definitely you've, you've got a lot of humour around your character as well. And, yeah. All the characters are fucking it's, uh, comic it's just, relief. It's just All another a strong dynamic in the mix mm. just to make the show what it is, mm. you know. Yeah. The whole show is a six-part mini-series. Um, and it follows the characters day to day. Each episode has a different type of theme. So, for example, not giving too much away, but one of them is a Christmas, what backpackers do on Christmas. Um, because obviously a lot of them come from Europe. It's the first time they have a warm Christmas by the beach. So that'll be quite fun to film, I reckon. Um, but yeah, it's the whole thing is capturing all these funny moments, all these intense relationships, everything that goes on, but also just the underlying and constant mundanity that comes over these guys. Um, there is a lot of sitting around in hostels. There's a lot of on Wi-Fi. You'll go into a backpackers and people just be sitting around on Wi-Fi because they're waiting. They've got a tour in two days or they're waiting on a job and either there's nothing to do or they can't afford to do anything. So, yeah, it's, it's finding the, the good moments in that kind of often long and tiresome process. I think the people made it fun to shoot. Yeah. A good bunch of funny people. Cast and crew. Yeah. Made it a lot of fun. Definitely. Definitely the cast. <laughs> <laughs> and the crew. <laughs> No. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was heaps of fun. It was, yeah. um, what made it fun was, I guess, part, partly the content of the, um, of what we were actually doing, like the, just what we were saying, you know, just the sort of the situations we were in. I think it was, it was fun to be in those situations and just sort of talking. Yeah, it know, was almost like, character. yeah, it was almost like you get to, because some of the moments are really awkward and it's almost like you get to relive awkward moments of your life, which you, mm. which at the time were horrendous, but you look back on it and you go, oh, that was funny. I wish someone had recorded that. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. Also, the leeway, the amount of leeway we got with actual dialogue and stuff. He wasn't very married to the script, so it was just like you could sort of... Yeah, it was really loose. Like Improv. Sometimes he'd just uh, sort of be made up. But what we had to do was just sort of experiment with like 30 seconds before the actual take, mm. you know, so it's just whatever goes, you know. Good. I'll tell you what was fun was being in an actual hostel and having actual, yeah. like, tenants yeah, <laughs> walking around. Yeah, just people around. walking through and yeah, stuff. like just walking through in a towel and being like... Yeah, and half of them sort of thinking there. you belong. Yeah, yeah, like sitting there in costume and like... In costume, these clothes, <laughs> pretty much. Um, yeah, it was just fucking weird, mm. but cool. To have people just walk yeah. past and be like, oh, they're filming something really cool. Like in the kitchen, 
where we're sitting is that bit where uh, Darren comes me yeah. comes in and asks for my wallet and there's people there and they're not even extras they're just they're just actual people who live at that hostel. <laughs> yeah. A lot of babes. Did you notice that? I noticed nothing. Ah, oh, there was a lot of babes. I was blunt to it all. I just felt like a big house. Yeah. Especially the morning because we did like a morning scene, so it was interesting. I like, wasn't there. Okay. But seeing uh, the backpackers like kind of coming in and, in and out of shot and they're in the back of some shots. Yeah, I didn't see that. Well, that's what happened. Well, I didn't see that. So. One of yeah. my favourite um, bits was when my character's he's rolling a joint and um, Jacko sort of sees me, comes around, bursts through the door and yells at me. And I every time, we did a few takes, every time I got a fright. Oh, yeah, and it was so good. Like an actual fright. Yeah. Right. Yeah, cool. Even though I knew it was coming, I'm just like, mm. like that every single time. And it was good. It just felt, it felt good. I liked it, you know? It was fun. I think it's realness. Yeah. Like the characters feel like real people. And Do mockumentaries are huge at the minute as well. So I think like executing like the humour through, yeah, like the cast and mm. what have you. Um... Yeah, mockumentaries are going apeshit, and this was apeshit too. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to swear? Should I not have said apeshit? We can beat the worst case scenario. Cool. You should probably stop saying apeshit if you can't say apeshit. <laughs> I guess people who've travelled will like it because yeah, a lot of be... this. A lot of empathy. <laughs> yeah, because say, I've been in that situation. Yes. And that one. Yes, because a yeah. lot of the situations have actually happened to Paul. Yeah, in so real life, based and he's off written reality, written them, you know. So, except any resemblance to any people is purely coincidental. <laughs> so we have a screening of the pilot, um, October the 9th. So, anyone watching from Melbourne, it's an open invitation and it's free. We'll be showing it a few times through the night. So it's at Loot Bar in the CBD, eight o'clock sharp. Uh, but apart from that, we will be releasing it online the pilot episode. Uh, October the 10th, so that's a Saturday, so that will be going up. Um, and yeah, we're looking forward to hearing feedback. A couple of people have seen Rough Cuts already. We have got some good feedback. A um, couple of tweaks here and there to do, but we're pretty confident that it's, it's going to be good. So yeah, looking forward to it.